Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, I'm gonna stay on the club fitting uh, topic today, and I'm gonna go back to DJ's club fitting when he, when Doc decided to start checking out his fairway woods. DJ said to him, well, Doc, I'm hitting these things great. I, I, I just don't, uh, I don't see any sense to change. So Doc finally said, well, let's check them. They, they, they had the same shafts in, that your driver had, and, it, we got a better shaft in it for your driver and saw an increase in your a little bit in your club head speed But most importantly in your launch angle and 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 in the solidness of contact got even a little bit better and and so Let's see what happens with these so he took he took uh, he, he decided that what he was going to do was was get the other He's going to he's going to order some shafts the same ones the aqua shafts that DJ has in his driver and I got mine and he took he took the specs off of his other drivers and uh, it's driving a uh, three wood and five wood, and club head speeds and everything else. And he said, "All right, uh, he had the company whose who's, uh, heads he was playing with send him in the shafts, and and uh, Doc built uh, uh, excuse me not the shafts but the heads. And when they came in, I happened to be going back to see him to work with him and actually pick up his irons, which I'll do another daily on what happened with his irons, and." And I drove him, I drove to Charleston and I met him and we went out and played. When he finally, so he's got his old three and five wood and his new three and five wood, and we're on the range and he just takes the takes out the new one and just the three wood and just after he's hitting some of his new drivers too, he just he just striped it and it's like he went like, Woo! That was great. And I mean, uh it looked about the same as the other one, but I can't sense and feel what what he felt in his hands and and the club coming down in the impact hit the five wood same thing and i mean so when we went when we got done on the range we're going to go play you know he put those were the old ones were put in the car and he's got the new ones in the bag so now he's got all three brand new woods that that doc is basically shafted with accurate shafts all the same profile, profile meaning how the club, when you're swinging in a backswing, how, to, how it loads and, and, and flexes and loads, and then how it kicks is when it kicks that impact going to the ball. And he's just, we played, I played two, uh, 36 holes with him. We played two days in a row, 18 holes, plus hitting balls and practicing and everything else. And uh, he was just striping it with everything, with the woods. And I mean, it's, it's, you could tell, even though he was striping it pretty good with the other ones, these were a tighter pattern. And, and I mean, and, and he was just commenting about the, the extra sense of the feel of the shaft where it came in and kicked right at impact. And, and you could see the ball the way it took off and just was tight flight and held the line and everything else. So again, you want to play better golf, you need to go see a good fitter. Now, if you can't get to a peak performance golf fitter, just ask the people in your area where you live, the pros at your club, or other good players that you know, who do you go see? And go see that guy. But when you walk in there, just let them know that you know a little bit about club fitting. You know enough that, that whatever your height is, I mean, I'm five foot nine, and I'm swinging, my clubs today are shorter than ladies clubs, because I got super long arms. My, my wrist to ground is, uh, sleeve length is 35 inches, and I think my wrist to ground is like 30 and a half or something. Doc says I got some of the closest wrist to the ground that he's ever seen. All right, now DJ's six foot three, and he's got a 35 inch sleeve. So he and I have the same sleeve, and yet I'm 5'9", and I don't believe I'm even 5'9 anymore. I'm probably more like 5'8", and, and, but he's still 6'3". So we got, we got at least six to seven inches difference between us, but we got the same arm length. So the big number is your wrist floor, right here where your, where your, your hand tight, uh, tight, uh, comes at the wrist. That's the measurement that most fitters use. And just, just know that and let them know that, hey, if I'm only 5, 8, 10, maybe even 11, you probably don't need anything more than 44 inch driver. And that's only if you probably got short arms. Okay, so let them know that you know that you're not going to be duped into buying a 45 inch driver and, and, and probably ask him about, about one of these uh, alphas or whatever. Because if he's a club fitter, he can probably get them. You'd rather have a smaller head than a big head. Big head is just a bigger face. Sweet spot isn't any bigger. It's the same size as anything else. It's about the size of a, the, the head of a pin, the head of a, a, a pen, that writing pen. That's it. You can, move the, you can move it around on the face, the sweet spot, but you can't make it bigger. So the bigger the head, the more, you just got more room to miss the sweet spot and hit a worse shot. 
So do yourself a favor. New Year's is going to be coming up pretty soon. Make your New Year's, your New Year's recommend, uh, you know, treat for yourself. The promise to yourself that, that you're going to go and get your clubs fitted and, and maybe do something about them uh, in terms of getting clubs fitted for you, both for the length of the shaft, the, the grip size, the, the flex, the, the, the profile of the shaft that's going to work best for you, for your swing and your strength and the way you load and unload the club. And with, with, with your surgi and you're swinging more vertical, we want to have, we want to have a profile that's, that's going to have a little bit more kick at the bottom with the, with the tip kick rather than you got a profile where you can have you can have a very flexible middle or or, or or and a stiff tip which is what most of the rotational players use because they're developing most of their speed with body movement because we're vertical and the club is gravity's affecting us we need a stiffer middle tip to hold the club to hold the angle longer coming down but it, right when we get to the ball we want that at that last second to kick to get that last little extra speed and and launch angle so that's the profile we use and i promise you Take the time, spend the money to get checked. Now, you don't have to buy it, but just the clubs. But just see what he what he comes up and, and does for you. Most fitters can can have will have heads that they can change shafts on them, and you can and you can uh, you different shafts. You can see the different the feeling of it, the, the hit of it, the launch angles, everything else. They'll all have monitors to to tell you all the uh, uh, launch launch monitors to tell you all the the numbers and and the monitor, monitors are calculated. Calibrated so the, 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 all those all those numbers he's going to look at and explain to you. That's how he's going to fit you. This is the uh, 21st century, and we might as well use the equipment. It's there. Use it. Get the right equipment, right length, lot, and all that other stuff, and you'll you'll be amazed at how much it's going to help you get the ball more solid straight and shoot those lower scores. Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.